Hi, Mark Gilbert here. And in this video, I want to offer you the one main thing you need to know about the topic of forgiveness. But before we get to that, we have to start with the basic question. What is forgiveness? What are we talking about? Now, you know, I get it. I, I think we all have an understanding of what forgiveness is. It usually falls into one of two scenarios. We've either been wronged or hurt by someone, and we hold on to the pain for a while, and then we realize we've got to move on, and we do something that we call forgive them. Or, on the other hand, we hurt someone, and then we feel guilty about it, and we wish we hadn't done whatever it is that we did. And we want them to give us some sort of magical elixir that we call forgiveness, and we think it'll make us feel better. But what is this thing that we believe that we are giving or attempting to receive? You know, dictionary.com tells us that to forgive is to grant a pardon for an offense or to cease to feel resentment against another. Now you're thinking, okay, that sounds about right. Thanks, Mark, for giving me a definition to a word I probably already knew. But what's that one thing that I need to know about forgiveness? Well, let's get to that. Here it is. Forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about you. Forgiveness is really a shift in your own consciousness where you stop carrying around the burden of resentment by having been hurt by another or carrying around the guilt of having hurt another person. Forgiveness is a conscious choice to begin to release the pain that you are feeling. And note that I said begin because forgiveness is the process of releasing the pain over a period of time. And the pain's rarely released in one fell swoop. And although the process of forgiveness may involve your interactions with another person, such as asking their forgiveness or expressing your regret for any harm you've caused, or you're letting them know that you're forgiving them for the wrong they caused you, it doesn't have to involve them at all. Because again, what is key here is that you are making a choice to move through the process of releasing the pain you've been carrying. It's really about shifting your consciousness. It's all about you. Now here is something that I cannot stress enough about forgiveness. It's not about condoning the hurtful behavior. Let me repeat that. Forgiveness is not about condoning hurtful behavior. That's a very important distinction that we have to make and get into our awareness. If someone hurt you or you hurt someone else, forgiveness is never saying that the hurtful action was okay. What we must do is delink the behavior, which we don't condone, and our painful feelings we're trying to release. You know, we can move into the process of releasing our painful feelings and still acknowledge that the behavior that led to the feelings was wrong. I cannot stress that enough. Forgiveness is not condoning hurtful behavior. But then the natural question you might begin with is, what is that process of forgiveness? How do you make that shift in your own consciousness? I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's easy, but I can offer you three thoughts that might help you in moving to forgiveness. First, really work on your own consciousness on recognizing the distinction between condoning hurtful behavior and releasing the pain caused by the behavior. The more you can see that distinction, the more you can move to forgiveness. Secondly, recognize that each person on this planet was born into a unique set of circumstances and moved through their own life experiences and that these circumstances have led them to believing the things that they believe and the actions that they take based on their beliefs. Oftentimes when I look at another person and think, how in the heck can they believe that? Or what would make them think that such behavior is okay? I repeat to myself, there but for the grace of God go I. In other words, can I recognize that if I had been born into their life and lived the life that they lived, there's a chance I would believe and act as they do? You know, yeah, there's a part of me that wants to believe I'd have risen up and made a better, better ethical choice. At least if I can see that I may have made the same choices have I lived their life, that opens my heart to a degree of compassion. And the third thing to consider here in, in forgiveness, and this may be the hardest of the three, but it's to ask yourself, 
What good came from the wrongful action? Is there a gift for you? Or humanity buried in the crap of the egregious behavior? Did something come about that we might not have experienced as we moved along our path? Did we grow or learn something about ourselves? Have we become stronger in some way? Is it helping our personal or collective evolution through having gone through this pain? You know, I know on a personal level that I've been harmed and I began moving to forgiveness and easy in the process, it was hard for me to see any good coming from the experience. But I can tell you that as time went by, the pain always subsides and with that comes seeing the good that the incident brought, some positive change that I wouldn't have had otherwise without that painful experience. So there you have it. Forgiveness is not about the other person. It's not about condoning hurtful behavior. Instead, it's about you and your movement in your own consciousness to release the pain you've been holding on to and shifting your life towards creating the positive life that you want. So who is it that you believe that you need to forgive? Could it be another person in your life, some political figure or group out in the world? Could it be yourself? Isn't it time to begin letting go of that pain? You know, forgiveness is really up to you. It's all about you. Good luck with forgiving. Thanks for watching the video. Until next time.